that. Exactly. Well. <laughs> well, she's there we go. Right. We are live, folks. <laughs> um, the Board of Appeals will conduct this meeting according to the rules laid out in Chapter 40A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Robert's Rules of Order, and its own particular set of rules entitled Rules of Procedure, a copy of which is on file with the town clerk. Another copy is available from the clerk at this meeting. She is actually not present right now, but we're clearly being recorded, so if you, we need to get any information from that, we can. This meeting is being tape recorded for the purposes of recording minutes. Once the minutes are approved, the tape may be taped over. Um, I will start by introducing the, the four members of the board. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, Sharon Freeman is to, to my right over here. Jeff Moore. Hi, Sharon. This is Gina Tebow on my left, and I'm Paul Schillen. And uh, we'll get started. If you could read the the uh, news notice. Okay. An application has been made by John T. and Priscilla Coughlin, trustees of PMC Realty Trust of 239 Western Ave, Essex, Mass. Owner and Gerard Soriano of 168 Farwood Drive, Bradford, Mass. The lessee to operate the business named Jerry's Auto Service and Inspection for the property at 97 Tenney Street, Georgetown, Mass. 01833. Assessors map 15, <coughs> lot 138 in the 1B district and requires a special permit to operate a motor vehicle repair shop under MGL 40A, Section 9, and the Georgetown Zoning Bylaws, Chapter 165 2, 9, 11, 78, and 79. All right, thank you very much. Um, and you guys can just, we're, we're very aware of what you're doing, but just, just for the board and for people watching, let us yeah. let everyone know what you guys are applying for. Introduce themselves to Okay. Oh, yes, and introduce yourself. I'm okay, sorry. I'm Cheryl Soriano. That's my husband, Gerard Soriano. We, Gerard, Cheryl, we past 13 years been operating the repair shop at Route 133 BP in Georgetown. We've been very, very honest and a great people to the community. I am very, very upset that we were forced out of that business practice for both the landlords and the lesser. The lesser went back bankrupt. We lost $127,000. The landlords were allowed to operate. They made another man come in and take over to operate for free. And now we were forced out to move somewhere after 13 years with great customers like yourself and like everybody in town that he'd been servicing for 13 years. This is his livelihood. He's only been doing this since 20 years old. He supports me and my daughter. My daughter attends Central Catholic. We can't even afford the payment anymore. So I am really upset. I'm angry. I'm angry at the person that took over BP because he screwed us. He was a friend of ours. And if he didn't take over, nobody would walk in that place because there are slumlords there. That's besides the point. Yes, thank you. Now we want to... <laughs> and it is besides the point. So that's right. Just so we're so clear. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we appreciate okay. your... Okay, so anyway, what I'd like to do is we want to just put our business there. Now, I'm upset. Where is Coughlin? Is he here? Uh, this would be the, the, the landlord. Yes, the yeah, owner. I don't think he necessarily needs to be here because you're the applicant. Okay, right. actually... Um, I think he should be here, and I even talked to uh, Patty. Yes. She thinks he should be here. First of all, when we were going to rent from him, we asked him if it was zoned for him. He said, yeah, I don't see why not. So we went in because we, we, yeah. we had to go somewhere. Yeah. And so now we get John come in, and he says that it's not zoned. Okay, that's fine. So now they're telling us $600 after we lose $127,000. So we're scraping up $600 because the owner says he ain't going to pay for it. So now we have, to, we have to pay for this. So I says, okay, John, we need all this paperwork um, for the board. Okay, just go to my survey. He's right in your building. And how much is that going to cost? He said nothing. He you know what he charged us? $500 for the paperwork. To get your surveys done, right, for the application. Do you believe yeah. that? Yeah, I do. So that's eleven hundred dollars. Well, let me. Uh, no. Me read this into the record. Yeah, sure. While, while you're on that, let me just yeah, because hold on a second, so that you can legally represent him. There's a letter here. We got. I, I just okay. want to read this in the record because this yeah. was yeah. a letter yeah. from John Coffin because yeah, because he's not here. He's on the application. Yeah. Uh, this is to the town of Georgetown Zoning Board of Appeals um, regarding 97 Tenney Street, Georgetown, Mass. Dated October 24, 2012. 
Uh, per Chapter 165, Section 2 of the Town of Georgetown Zoning Bylaw, it is our understanding that Gerard Soriano and Jerry's Auto Service and Inspection uh, have to apply for a special permit to operate a motor vehicle repair shop and inspection station at 97 Tenney Street, Georgetown, Mass. As owner of the property, PMC Realty Trust grants permission uh, to Mr. Soriano to apply for a special permit from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Should you have any questions or concerns regarding this matter, please feel free to contact me. Sincerely, John uh, T. Coughlin, trustee of PMC Realty Trust. Just want to read that in the record to make sure that he's aware that you're here and you're representing yeah. them. Okay, just we know that because he's on the application, yes. and oftentimes if the owner isn't present or hasn't uh, in writing, we giving you permission to represent that, yes, yeah. we want I to make that clear. So, before. and you the, can. Uh, the thing yeah, is, I, I'm just upset because of the whole scenario. So, first of all, when when it was getting bad there, we were going to sell it because of the, their son was okay, and I went to John because we were going to rent. We, we talked to uh, Daner, and we were going to rent the front of it before they, uh, his cousin sold it to him. And we're going to put Jerry's Tire in auto repair. And John says, well, you've got to do sales and service, and you're going to have to apply for this. And apply for that. So he really deterred us from, from, from Oh, John Mativier. Yeah. Yes. He, he actually turned us off. He kept denying, saying that. Oh, because it was stuff. zoned for auto sales and service, not yeah. uh, so filling, he said, not yeah, a filling station. Yeah, well, station you can do zone. that if you sell ties, but he kept being negative about it. So he kind of turned it wasn't me off. allowed in that district, I think, specifically. Well, maybe. no, service and right. sale, sales Sale, and auto, auto sales right. and service. Well, no, as s tire sales and service, putting them on, would be allowed. But he kept being negative. Okay. okay. Please hand me out. Sure. I, yeah, I, yeah. I call a spade a spade. You have no idea who I am. I don't lie and I tell the truth. Some people either love me or you hate me. We're just trying to keep. <laughs> we just got to stick to the facts. Okay. We have a, well, the we fact have a is, to go the fact is, he told us no, no, no. So then he's the one that told us to go down on Tenney Street. So I said, all right. So we didn't go until pushed to be. We were shoved out. So we went, and now we're going through this. Do you know? How I'm boiling right now. My husband, he's more quiet and reserved, but he it eats away at him. I'm sure. So we just need you to grant this, and then we have to deal with those other issues, paying that survey guy. Right. Exactly. And you, you are permitted to do auto repair in that district if we grant you a special permit. Right. Absolutely. And stay inspection. States, yeah, I don't that's know. That's all. That's all encompassed. As far as zoning yeah. is concerned, yeah. that's all. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, can I ask, can I ask no. a question? Please. please. Okay. Please yeah. do. Uh, unless you keep going, if you're, you know, no, no, you get I more just to. Blew off. Yeah, sorry. that's fine. No, that's okay. <laughs> perfectly acceptable. Um, so uh, that's the history, and so yeah. going forward, as far as we're concerned, now you, yeah, you, I, I think it would be uh, yeah, beneficial just to explain what it is you you would like to do over there for those that aren't maybe familiar with your previous business. You don't have a filling station anymore over there. You're going to be doing. Just take a few minutes and explain, you know, what what your plan is over there. I know, you know, maybe you've already started and now you're aware that you need to get a permit, but yeah. explain what it is your your plans are over there so we can get a better idea of what's, what's well, going on. And that's, repair, that's what we really need repair to Repair and service cars, that's what we okay. do. And do we do a state inspection? Right. That's all we do. Okay. And that's it, basically. The, are you renting the entire building over there? No, I'm renting or? a, a 2,500 square feet. Here, show them the pictures. The pictures. Yeah, we have the plans here. No, no, oh, no. I've got some pictures of the building if you want to look at yeah. them. What happened was, um, Jared has to like us on Facebook, okay? <laughs> My John, she has that Facebook. Here is the, um, Here's the front door, right? You got the front door here, yeah. Yeah, because well, there's different we, views. When you come from, um, Room 133, and you take the right onto Tenney. Mm -hmm. We're on the Essex Columns right there with the next right, and we're on the left hand side, the second building end, mm -hmm. which is that building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And here's we're some of the today. inside. Mm -hmm. That's the, um, yep. there's some. We, we went mm -hmm. from a dungeon to a palace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Dungeon to a palace. Well, maybe it's all as well that may end well. That's you never great. know. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's the right. front of the building where we would like to. We have to. Put, we have to get a special permit to put that little sign out and our biggest sign out. I know that. And here's the two bays. And that must be John because John thinks I'm fabulous. And this is the waiting room. And the waiting room. He didn't take the picture. The waiting room's a dark. Well, have you been there? Oh. oh. Have you been to the waiting room yet? Not yet. Oh my God, it has a nice fireplace. You oh yeah? Say, yeah. We, we, um, 
We hired a guy <laughs> to put the wall in. We did some work in the building. Excellent. Okay. So here is everything you need to see. You come down. We'll fix your car. <laughs> I know. We'll I know all your about pipes it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know all about it. Wait, so you're you're leasing. Course. You're operating in. Uh, we have plans of the building here. Yeah, there's a there's this a is office, an existing building. Office, just so everybody's fine. aware, this is an existing yeah. building that was previously used for for this use or no? Uh, I, I don't no. think so. No. Let him speak. And, and your uh, why don't you introduce yourself just for the. Okay. Uh, my name is. I'm John sorry. Hoffman. I'm the owner of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I was just curious from my standpoint. I'm not. I, I've been by this probably a hundred times, but I never really paid too much attention. Oh, it's a nice part. I mean, he's got a lot of different businesses in there, and um, it, it's funny because the, build, the business behind them is our customers. Essex Collins is our good customers. They're all our customers, and they've been telling us to move here for a long time. But what disappoints me is I thought it was already zoned for this, so it cost us $600 plus the architect charged us $500 when <clears throat> the landlord told me it was going to be zero just get the paperwork from him. So that's $1,100. No. So, do you hear me, everybody? <laughs> I heard you, and I never told you. But I'm not responsible can, for getting permits. Don't though. worry about it, sweetheart. I got yeah, tape. You, I tape all that. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you sit sit down again over sure. there? Sure. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't want to get too excited. I'm not excited. I'm mad. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't think you know. You lose one hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars. You think, and it, not in stocks. It hurts. Either. I know. I can understand that entirely. Yeah. Not in stocks either. I mean, stocks, you're taking the chance. This was a 13-year business. Um, so you have other tenants, or there's other tenants in the building. Yeah. Is that, that's right. You, you can come up. I mean, or yeah, that's fine. I mean, any one of you can answer. I'm just trying to get an understanding. That, that building's been there for a while. It's been in continuous I use for... I built the building about 25 years ago. Okay. And it's been a multi-tenant building, and it's been run that way since that time. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's been pretty well occupied most of the time, um, and he's you, you're going to be you're leasing how much half the building? Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred square feet, which is how many how many bays? I mean, basically That's approximately one bay of the building. It would be about ten percent of the building. Yeah. Okay. And so you can service how many cars? You're going to be servicing the cars indoors. I oh, assume. absolutely. Yeah. Everything's and inside. You've got yeah, a couple of bays outside. here. We do not leave anything outside. Right. Okay. Nothing is it's, outside. That's it's his all... laws, and we abide by the rules. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not my laws. It's the planning board of the town, when I pulled the permit, told me that I could have no outside storage on the property. Right. No. Every... Okay? And th th that's what we abide by. Right. right. Oh, that's whatever right. it is. And yeah, we okay. still abide by the rules. You said no? That's no. Well, now, I'm you... not God. I'm hoping to get to that point, but I'm not <laughs> going to uh... Don't worry about it. I don't know you so you've got, you've got a couple of bays. In, so I'm just trying to get a sense of the magnitude well, of the, the, the thing. I'll that's say all. three. Okay, you got enough to it, service maybe three. It's one for the state inspection, inspection and we have two and lifts. Two lifts. Oh, okay, I, I can see that there's two here. And then yeah. we have three offices. One mine. And where you, where the people, where the waiting room is, and we, we uh, paid somebody to do construction to in there. Slide it over a little bit. And then so he has his own good. office because I had to close it because we married for 30 gotcha. years. I had a you know, free standing sign. We can't no. see all right. each other all the time. And everything's you know inside. Jim? Everything is inside. Things yes. inside. You might have some cars parked outside during, during regular, the day. During yeah. hours. It. Nothing's left out at night. All right. Everything comes inside. Okay. Yeah. It's the same building. I'm just trying to get my bearings. Yeah. So, in box Q, you, you have yeah. a sign. There's a sign out there. Is, do you have a part of this sign? No, no. no. There's a per the auto conditions that we. Yep. Yeah, let me see it. Uh, I can only see a tiny bit of it. That's yeah. Why I no, you, you're not seeing it. Per the auto conditions that we received from the planning board, right here, you're seeing it. There's an outside Shot. sign, mm -hmm. which allows us, they wanted us to identify the building first off, 97, mm -hmm. and there's slats there that the various tenants can put their sign on. Mm -hmm. That's the only signage we're allowed. Okay. But, okay. and you have a slot, obviously. Right. Yeah. yeah. We do have yeah. a slot. Right. Yeah. yeah. But on the side of the building, we have to have our master inspection number on the outside to be a licensed master inspector. And we talked years ago with the building inspector. I think at that time his name was Jack Boyd, was the building inspector. And at that time we were putting the building up, and he saw no problems with the tenants of the of the building putting address, putting their own 
name or mm -hmm. logo mm -hmm. on the door or the side of the building there. It's only a little sign anyway, but by law... Usually you need to something for deliveries anyway. Yeah, exactly. You have, you have five yeah. units in there. I don't know how many... How many units do you have? Is it... Uh, yeah. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has the potential of eight units in mm -hmm. the building when Some we of originally them. built it. Well, one of the tenants has taken more than sure. one unit. So you right now, them. I think we have... Yeah, it is okay. yours considered but you've got one unit? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Yours is yeah. one unit. Okay. Yeah. This is one unit. One unit. Okay. Yeah, they're, exactly. they're, they're approximately 10% of the building. Each, so one full unit is about 10. Okay. Yeah. I get it. But they're okay. fine. Yeah. I think so. I think they're fine. So um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think so. I mean, the order conditions may be more stringent. Uh, we were talking about sign the sign bylaw your order conditions from the planning bar is probably more stringent than the yeah, sign yeah. bylaw itself actually yeah. so to the extent that you have temporary signs or what yeah. have you i think you according to the bylaw uh, you're you're probably compliant according to your order conditions i'm not i'm not 100 sure because i haven't read it but mm -hmm. my sense is it sounds like it's probably more uh descriptive or perhaps more uh uh, has stronger language than what's in here, so it definitely is. Okay, so you just have to make sure you're abiding by that, and if mm -hmm. not, you're gonna have to go talk to talk to them about it. If you, yeah. well, we just have to um, just apply for a, to put the sign out and bring it in in and out. I talked to John about that. Okay, good. So you'll deal with John. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah I already talked to John about that. He said, yeah, just apply for that, and it shouldn't be a problem. But. Um, we have to have that little sign out for the right. state inspection yeah. day. You're actually allowed that. Yeah. Yeah. I know, in but the, the, they, the, the okay. state. Oh, but I don't know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay. Um, so you don't have a condo association or anything like that. This is your, like, you won't, you own all the units. Realty, which I'm one of the principals of, owns the entire building. Yeah, okay. So it's another condo you association. Like, yeah, okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Oh, I don't ask much questions. Somebody I, else I must have a few. <laughs> pretty uh, straightforward. I'm assuming you get all your containers picked up and taken away and all yeah. that sort of thing. Oh, we have GML. We rent a. Um, <clears throat> He's talking about the waste. Or, yeah, the waste. Yeah, waste gets taken away. Stuff. I mean, we just need to. You know, uh, that's another issue. Sometimes we have. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a waste oil tank. Did you show? Yeah, it? these are my. Here's one. That's for the, the waste oil. The other ones for the clean oil that I keep in. Okay. The blue is waste and the red is clean. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My husband's very neat. If not, I get on him, so he's got to be clean. John would hate to be married to me. I think we can collect these up. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't see any problems with this at all, personally. I'd like to sort of talk about it before we vote. And in the case that for some reason a member or two is not on the same page, then you have the ability to... Uh, I'm not sure what the proper term is if you don't if you want to withdraw your application, but I I think the members oh. seem that this is very pretty clear that this is uh, I think it's acceptable and you guys the, the only thing I, I just in case because it, it sounds like there might have been some confusion about what was allowed so you don't ever <clears throat> plan on selling cars there no no because no, 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 that no, that no. is not allowed so I guess no. I just want you to know that going forward no, 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 so no, there's no, apparently no. a difference between auto sales and service which yeah, you no, are not no no, no. no. And, no um, it's just auto repair right and auto repair is okay. So I guess if you're thinking of expanding, yeah, no, no, beware. <laughs> but that definitely is not allowed. There's nothing we can do. You're right across the street. Um, you're right across the street from. Is it is it Mira that's across there? Who's do who do no. who just? No, Mira's around the corner. I think it's T Ford. T Ford. I think is the name of it. T Ford. Somebody's got a, um, a vehicle something? storage. Is that is that? Yeah, I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, it, I'm. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to get at is, I think there's 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 a storage facility very close there that's doing. Who, yeah, who's right doing the service the on the trucks? Is that? Oh, the, the big trucks, you mean? Somebody's doing well, service. It's maybe it's down, down the there. street. Maybe it's maybe it's not right across the street. Jackson. It's a Jackson. little bit before. It's a little bit before you get to these guys. Well, repairs is allowed. I, I guess I just wanted to point out because there might have been confusion. Right. Oh yeah, no, not at all. This is totally no. We're, we're not uh, we're not clear selling, going selling cars, and no, you don't no, no, plan no. on it because no. if no. you did, that wouldn't be the appropriate no. space. And we're not um so no bookie joints there either. Okay. Okay. Jeff, would you like to make a motion? Have you got one there? You got nobody has any other questions. I uh, no. don't have any no. questions. I'm okay. Um, yeah, I think this is reasonable. Um, I would move that the board find uh, that the 
uh, to grant a special permit or uh, excuse me I move that the board find the special permit application uh, for 97 Tennant Street meets requirements of section 165 79 a through D that the application is desirable to the public convenience and welfare will not overload any public water or other municipal services so as to unduly subject any area to hazards affecting health safety of the general welfare will not impair the integrity or character of the district or joining districts and will not cause an excess of that particular use which would be detrimental to the character of the neighborhood and I further move that the board grant a special permit to John T. Coughlin, PMC Realty Trust owner, and Lessie Gerald Soriano. Gerard. Uh, excuse me, Gerard Soriano, to operate a motor vehicle repair shop, namely Jerry's Auto Service and Inspection, located at uh, 97 Tenney Street, Georgetown, Mass., 01833, in the IB District, and identified on Assessor's Map 15, Lot 138, under Mass General Law, Chapter 40A, Section 9, and the Georgetown Zoning Bylaws, Chapter 165, Sections 2, 9, 11, 78 and 79. Um, I'd like to hold that thought for a moment. Um, Considering the condition? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's on here. yeah. We would need to talk about that under discussion. So, okay. Does anybody want to second that? Second the, the yeah, motion. Yeah, second the motion. I'll yep. second the motion. Okay, great. <coughs> we'll move to discussion. Oh, uh, yes. We, yes, <laughs> now we're we'll discussion move to discussion. Yes, on the motion. And then what we do is we make a motion, then we discuss any last little details before we actually vote on it. Uh, and we should have brought this up a moment ago. The, um, there's the issue of uh, change in lease in the space. So, and, and it's a good point. Um, and Patty had actually pointed this out that uh, if they if the lease changes, that they would need to come back to renew the special permit. In other words, the special permit is going with the lease, not necessarily permanently with your property. That's fine. Okay. They, they don't have a that, that's the idea, because anytime somebody comes in just because he was there and he's doing a good job right. and he's doing all the right things, doesn't necessarily mean, mean the, you know, next person the next person is going to be right. there. Yeah. 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 Or may the not understand. The reason this is based on these people being before yeah. you, right. telling you exactly what they're doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If, yeah. It, if they decide to leave tomorrow and then we want to run it out to Joe Smith who wants to do the same thing, he would have to come before the board and tell you exactly, exactly what he's doing. Right. right. So that they can under, we understand what yeah. they want to do and they understand what right. their what right. their you say, you limitations are. We do are. this in all cases. Right. It's each tenant is a separate entity. <clears throat> None are the same. They have, they have to pull their required permits to do business in the uh, community they're doing business with. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Everybody, uh, that's, so I'd like to amend my motion then to add the following condition. Yeah. That uh, any change in lessee in the space located at 97 Tennis Street shall return to the Zoning Board of Appeals for a new special permit. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Great. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. Second. The uh, pen amendment. Amendment. Thank you. Amendment. Any further discussion? <laughs> no, no, no further appendage. discussion. <laughs> all, all those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> There, yeah, it's unanimous. Not You're good. Opposed Thank you very much. Here Thank you. Um, with you our did. clerk being gone right now. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, where is your sheet? Hang on. Oh, yes. Uh, there it is. I have to notify you of a 20-day appeal period. Following 14 days, the clerk has to file a written decision with the town clerk. The person who exercises rights under an appealed special permit variance does so at risk. Uh, someone like to make a motion to close this hearing? So That's so moved. Did you have that made sense? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. All those You're in already. favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Great. Did you say aye? I did. Okay. Or great. if I didn't, I say to aye. To close the meeting, well. yes. All right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically. Got to follow the rules. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is there anything else that's required? You have the 20 day appeal period. Mm -hmm. Right. Correct. And then after that, it's, uh, is there any permits that it's, it's you're going to issue? Nope. Or how, how are you going to handle it? It's 20 days from when the clerk. Yeah, uh, Patty. Great. Patty will uh, draft the decision. It'll get signed probably today before the end of the week. Yep. You know, it'll be drafted and signed uh, yep. by each member, and then it'll get filed. That starts the clock on the twenty-day appeal period. Uh, once that uh, terminates, uh, you'll get your special permit. Uh, that will go through through, through the, the building period. office. Yeah. Now, uh, do we or, get a copy? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, other than that. Um, 
you know, the, the signage, I think, as you've indicated, there's some uh, conditions in the um, yeah, the little landing board. Have, so you're going to have, have to... Uh, we don't yeah, have stationary. I, no. We just, like, want to roll out, like, if we run specials, roll them out. So John said that we have to apply for I a special apply for permit. I got to apply for that permit. So me. we know right. we're going to yeah. do that. Okay, so that's something different. Yeah. We're right. not, we didn't condition yeah, anything. Yeah, really signage. That's, just, that's a different just issue. So we, well, we're talking about it right now. The signage is... There are some strict guidelines. I know. I right talked to John. I yeah. talked to him. Okay. Uh, yeah. For that. Yeah. So. yeah, but we're going to apply for a special permit for it, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. we got to okay it before you do it. Okay. Huh? We have to okay what you're applying for before you do it. Think, oh, those big she, signs. That big sign we want to roll out and roll in. You, you better, whatever because you're applying for with the town, for my sign too. Oh, okay. we have to. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We'll, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. You'll see all the people here. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's fine. I yeah. just want to keep us all in the same Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I told you, I'd like you to come and see the waiting room, all the work we did, but you won't come over. You're too busy. You would appreciate <laughs> that's it. That's why I'm here tonight, to help you get your bill. Yeah, but your you're, you would appreciate it. I'm too busy. No, but you would appreciate it. Oh, okay, all right. You would have okay. I know I'm going back to work. The place right. come out beautiful. Thank you you for would coming, appreciate guys. it. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Good luck. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. All right. I do nothing with the Patty, signage that we talk. Get a hold Listen, of nice you. You guys, she has a way to communicate with you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she'll well, get Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you very Patty. much. Patty is a love. I have to tell you, I don't even know her. I bumped into her and joined her, so then you know it was right. Want one? There you go. You can have one. <laughs> oh yeah, take those. Close me out in the mail.